I'm James Swinney with your Peninsula Energy Commodities Report. Now, front month WTI crude oil prices rallying to the highest levels of the session in early trade this Wednesday morning after data showed that oil supplies in the U.S. fell unexpectedly last week. However, those gains short-lived as right now crude oil in the red. Now, earlier today, the U.S. EIA saying in its weekly report that crude oil inventories declined by 754,000 barrels in the week ended February 5th. Again, investors were expecting a rise. This even after yesterday's API figures showed a supply gain of 2.4 million barrels. But as it stands right now, all that momentum is already gone. Crude oil for delivery in March over at the New York Mercantile Exchange was last up, well, was primarily up 3.7% to be just below $29, $29 a barrel. But those concerns, once again, over supply figures, too much supply, very little demand, has paved the way for crude oil to be down 1.5% at $27.52 a barrel. Switching focus now over to precious metals. Gold futures cutting losses in afternoon trade this Wednesday after Fed Chair Janet Yellen said that financial conditions have become less supportive to growth as foreign developments continue to pose risk on the global economy. Gold for April delivery on the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange last down $9.30, just about 0.8% to trade at $11.8390 a troy ounce. At the same time, we do have silver prices on the downside as well, about 21 cents, 1.39% at $15.2350 a troy ounce.